Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to VATS 2020. Uh, I'm Alex, this is Helen and Hudson, we are execs for this year. Uh, first things first, I'd like to give a huge thank you to our sponsors for this year. That's the Wellington Classical Associate, Association and Vic Clubs, uh, without whom none of this would be possible. Uh, and then just quickly we'd like to do some logistical things. So in the event of a fire, please calmly and carefully make your way to the fire exits. One's down here and there's two more up there. After the show, after the show, if you'd like to come see us and we would like to see all of you, uh, please meet us up in the bubble just off the atrium up there. We'll just go get changed quickly and then come straight back and see you all. Uh, if you want to take photos during the show, please feel free. Just make sure your flash is off and make sure your phones are either off or on silent. Um, this play is the most complete example we have of an ancient Greek new comedy. And we had a fantastic time putting it together this year. Um, despite the setbacks of COVID-19, we ended up having a lot of Zoom meetings. But thankfully, we can perform for you under level one conditions, so we hope you enjoy it tonight. And students, if you enjoy the play and you want to be part of VATS next year, we have a AGM in early March. Imagine being in Attica, in Philae, the shrine from which I come. It's home to the Phalacians and the people who farm the rocks here. It is a sacred place. On the farm to my right lives Nemon, a hermit of a man, being possessed by misanthropy, peevish to everyone and despising the crowds. Crowds, do I say? Ha! He has lived a long life and never initiated a conversation pleasantly with anyone. Never been the first to greet a man, except for me, his neighbor Pan, in which he had no choice, and he regretted it right away. I know it well. However, regardless of his character, he married a widow whose first husband had died and left her with a baby son. By fighting with her, he not only took up the day, but lived miserably for the better part of the night. A baby girl was born, making it much more miserable. And when the misery reached the point of no return, and life became hard and bitter, his wife left him and went to her son from her first marriage, Augeas. He has a small parcel of land here, and there, with difficulty, he supports himself, his mother, and a loyal servant that he acquired from his father. The boy is a grown man now, being more mature than others of his age. Experience, after all, matures a person. The old man lives on his own with his daughter, Artemisia, and an old woman servant who carries the wood and digs the garden, always working. He hates everyone, from the neighbors to his wife, right down to Kalagos here. His daughter, though, is a virtuous girl because of her upbringing. She flatters my companions, the nymphs. She pays her respects to us, and we take care of her. There is a boy, Sostratus, son of a very rich farmer, farming land here worth many talents. He was raised in the city, but he's come with a friend of his to hunt, and by the fates arrived at this very place. This is the tale. Now you will see the consequences, if you please. And you should like it. For I think I see this young lover approaching with his friend. In fact, they are steeped in conversation regarding this tale. What are you saying, Sestratus? You saw a free girl from Philae crowning the nymphs with garlands and you immediately fell in love with her. Love at first sight. That seems rather quick, unless you were determined to come here and fall in love with someone. You're making fun of me, Kyraeus. I feel like a fool. All right, I believe you. That is why I've come to you about this. Not only as a friend, but as someone who has good judgment in these matters. In regards to that, Sestratus, this is what I would usually do. Let's say that a friend of mine's fallen in love with the Lady of the Night. I would grab her, get drunk, burn the doors down, and I will not tolerate reason. A slow burn is intolerable. Fast heart means fast conclusion. But now let's say a man promises marriage to a free girl. I'd act differently in this situation. I'd collect information regarding her family, her status, her character, everything. Ultimately, I'd leave a record to my friend, signifying my effective involvement in the matter. Good thinking. However, 
I'm not sure that I'm satisfied with how things have turned out. Now we must hear about this issue. Well, at first light, I sent out Periax, my slave. Where to? To meet the girl's father, or whoever's the head of the household. By Heracles, what are you saying? I erred. Maybe I shouldn't have put a slave to such a task. It's hard to know what's best for you when you're in love. But I had been wondering about his long absence. I told him to come home straight away once he had gathered all the information for me. Look at Get out of the way! The man is chasing me! He's mad! He's mad! What's this, Perius? Run away! What happened? Rocks! He's dead to be in front of me! I'm dying! Who is throwing them? Where are you going? Are you being stoned? Is he no longer after me? No, Isus. Are you stoned? <laughs> Please, let's go. Where to? Out of here! As far away from that house as possible. The man you sent me to is the son of greed, deranged, and insane. We even lived in that house. Great trouble, I tell you. I must have broken every toe, stumbling over the rocks. Heracles, what is he doing coming here? By Zeus's brothers. He's going to kill me. Stay on guard or something. I can't breathe. Okay, okay so, so I went and knocked on the door, and an unhappy old woman came out. And from here, where I'm standing now, she pointed him out up on the hill, wandering around, gathering wild pears. Or rather, a load of trouble! How terrifying! Oh, my good friend! I, having stepped onto his land from very far away, wanting to seem like a friendly and tactful person, I greeted him and said, I come to you, Father, being eager to see you about this matter. And immediately, Even man! He shouts, You have come onto my land! Why? And he picked up a lump of that in front of my face! <laughs> oh, I covered my eyes and shouted back, Poseidon, curse you! But he took a pointed stick and he beat me with it, shouting, What business do you have with me? Do you not know the public road? He was shouting shrilly. I was perfectly mad from what you say. I ran. He pursued me for fifteen starters. First up the crest of the hill, and then down into the valley, slinging clods of earth, and stones, and pears. A wild action. An entirely unholy old man. I beseech you, Miss Lee. You speak of cowardice. You do not know how mad he is, Estratus. He'll devour us entirely! Perhaps he's just in a foul mood right now. It seems to me we should approach him another time, Sistratus. You know well that timing is everything. You are sensible. Poor <laughs> farmers are exceedingly bad tempered, not only this one, but almost all of them. But at dawn tomorrow, I'll go to him alone since I know the house. But now, we should go home and rest. Oh, I shall. <clears throat> he has gladly seized this excuse. It was clear he'd not come with me willingly, nor approved of my attempt at marriage. And you, worthless thing, may all the gods destroy you terribly. You deserve a whipping. What did I do wrong, Stratus? You must have done something bad to his land, having stolen away. I stole? Someone beat you, and you say you did nothing wrong. Oh, he's coming back! You talk to him, I'm leaving! I would not be able to. I am always unconvincing in speech. What do you say to someone like him? He does not look very friendly to me. No, by Zeus. How intent. I will move away. Better. But he's walking around and grumbling. He does not seem sane to me. I am indeed afraid of him by Apollo and the gods. Was Perseus not then prosperous? In two ways? <laughs> Did he not have wings? And so met no one walking on the ground? And possessed an item 
with which he made all who angered him to stone. Oh, that I had that now, for nothing would be more abundant than stone statues everywhere. But I wish I were dead by Asclepius, for already they are trampling my land and chattering to me. I do not like to waste time standing by the road by Zeus. I avoid it because of the people there. Now they chase me up the hills, countless crowds. Ah, me, someone stands by my door. Is he going to hit me? <sighs> One is not able to find solitude anywhere, not even in death. Is he angry with me? I wait here for someone, sir. Did I not say so? Do you think this is a store or the shrine to Laos? If you want to meet someone, most certainly arrange to meet at my door. <laughs> and, and build a bench if you have this in mind. Or rather, a council chamber. Oh, oh I am miserable. This spiteful treatment is the problem. Bastard. <laughs> this matter is unusual and most serious. Shall I go to Gitas, who belongs to my father? Yes, by the gods, I will indeed. He is fiery and experienced in all sorts of things. I'm sure he will drive away all this man's irritability. This is taking too long. But look, someone opens the door. There's no time to talk idly. Dearest nymphs, you must undertake this on our behalf. But I would not want to be a nuisance if someone was sacrificing inside. Give it to me! I will draw water for you immediately and bring it right back. Oh, yes, by the gods, make haste! She is a country girl, but in some ways she is free indeed. Oh, highly honoured gods, what power could save me? My father returned. I will get him beating me if he catches me outside. <laughs> I've wasted a long time serving you here while he digs alone. I must go to him. Oh, poverty. This entombed miserable end. Why did we injure you so? Why did you sit on side and live with us for so long? Take this! Oh, bring it here. Wailing, Sostratus. It will happen in due time. What will happen in due time? Don't be afraid. But do as you intended. Find get us and explain the whole situation to him. What is this devil? This matter displeases me. A young man doing a service for a girl. It is distasteful. But you, Enamel, are hateful. May the gods destroy you horribly and entirely. You leave an innocent girl alone and unguarded? Have you learned this? This man probably came here, thinking this was a god's gift. But I must tell her brother about this, so that we may take the girl into our care. I think I should go to him now. If I see some people approaching, some rather drunk oh. person with a pad away, I think it must be
He says he won't give her up until he finds a groove who has the same mindset as he does. So you're saying never? My good friend, don't take these troubles on yourself. Leave them to us, for they are burden to bear as his relatives, as chance would have it. Young man, by the gods, have you never been in love? It's not possible for me, dear friend. How come what prevents you? <laughs> Our account's bad. Give him little time for leisure. I can tell you've never been in love, for you speak ignorantly. You want me to stop. But not even the gods could make me. But, uh, but what? You're merely suffering in vain. No, not if I get the girl. You won't. Especially not if you just ask him. Even with me by your side to visit the valley where he works. Why not? Well, I'll bring up the subject of Artemisia's marriage, which I would like to see. But he'll immediately want to fight everybody, insulting the lives they lead. And when he sees how luxuriously you spend your time, he won't even rise to look at you. Is he there now? Well, yes, but shortly he'll be out with his usual rope. Oh, sir, are you saying he'll be leading Artemisia with him? Good chance he is. Let's go! I'm ready. What are you saying? Please help me. In what way? In what way? Let's go! What you said! <laughs> Why? Are you going to stand there beside us wearing your fancy cloak while we work? Why shouldn't I? He'll throw dirt at you. <laughs> <laughs> He'll call you a lazy good for nothing. Brother, just don't take me of us. He saw you working. He might just have to listen. Thinking you were a poor farmer. I will do anything to win her. Onwards! Why are you forcing yourself to suffer? I want us to get as much work done today as possible. And I want him to break his back. Then he might stop troubling us. Bring me a hoe! Here. <laughs> Take mine. Meanwhile, I'll build that wall. Give it here. I must, Master. So be it. I will get the girl, or die trying. Well. If you mean what you said, I wish you good luck. Oh, many honored gods, you have turned me away, or so you think, when really you urge me towards her twofold. For if the girl was not raised by women and does not know the evil ways in life and the nonsense cooked up by aunts, <laughs> if she's not frankly with a fierce father who hates poor behavior, well then how could it not be blessed to win her? But this hoe weighs four talents. It'll finish me off. Her womanly softness will save me. <laughs> this sheep is no regular beast. May it be cast into the depths of Hades. <laughs> Grow by carrying above the ground, it grabs branches with its mouth. It devours the fig leaves and pulls away from my grasp. But if I set it on the ground, then it won't move. <sighs> but here's the shrine that the gods will sacrifice. <laughs> Greetings and thanks, Pan. Get us, boy. Why are you so far behind? Those damned women, they've organized four arseloads for me to carry. A large crowd is coming, so it seems. You're carrying an indescribable number of cushions. Well, now what? Uh, prop those things against here. <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> if my mistress dreams of Pan of Pyania, we will walk all the way there to sacrifice at once. Wait, who had a dream? Don't rub me the wrong way, man. I'm just asking who had the dream. My mistress! By the gods, what did she see? Well, you're not going to believe this. She saw Pan. You mean this one here? This one. And what was he doing? Well, he had the master's son, Sostratus. Nice young man. And he was putting chains on his feet. Apollo! And he gave him a jerkin and a hoe and told him to plow the neighbor's property. Incredible. That's why we sacrificed. Sacrificing here to move away from the nightmare to something better. I get it. All right, lift those things up again and carry them inside. Let's have some mattresses and such within there. Once they arrive, the whole sacrifice must go off without a hitch. I'll put in a smile, you thrice unhappy loser. I'll feed you up well today. And so I've always praised you and your skill, but I'll never trust you. Hey! hey. hey.
old woman, keep that bloody door shut. Come on, play, go and be sure the sacrifice for ready. Oh, what is the meaning of this shit? <laughs> A mob? Curse you to Hades! You worship it, play the pipe for Pan. And it said that he does not favor those who approach him silent. Thank the gods you got here safely. By Heracles, this is miserable. Is everything ready for us? Well, yes, by the gods. At least the sheep is, for it could not wait a moment longer and has died of old age. Oh, that is most inconvenient. Please go and get ready. The basket, the holy water, and the offerings. <laughs> what are you looking at, old man? I wish you miserable. Worthless people would die. <laughs> you make me idle from work. For I will not be able to leave the house without being bothered. The nymphs living beside me are so much trouble that I think I will tear down this house and build again. Somewhere far away from here. How these thieves sacrifice. They carry food and wine jars. Not for the gods, of course, but themselves. The incense and the cakes are all that are required to be pious. These the god takes. But of the meat, only that which is inedible. The offal and the bones are given to the gods. For they gulp down the other things themselves. <sighs> Old woman? It seems we should spend the day indoors. <laughs> you say that you have forgotten the stew pot. Are you sleeping off a hangover, boy? Now what will we do? Bruh, I know where the gods' name is, it seems. Boy, I think that nowhere in all of Hellas has more worthless slaves. They know nothing except for sex with beautiful boys and to lie if they are seen. The door's locked. Let's go around the back. Cursed man, tell me! Oh, bite my head off, old man! I will eat you alive by Zeus! No, by the gods you wouldn't! Do I have business with you, you cursed man? No, no business! I have not come with court summons nor to demand money, merely to ask you for a stew pot. A stew pot? A stew pot. <laughs> you rogue! Do you think I make sacrifices with oxen like you? I don't think you would give a snail. But no problem, my good friend. The woman ordered me to knock on your door and ask. I've done so and there is no pot. I will tell them this. By the gods, that man is a greyhead viper! Man-eating animals. They knock as if we are friends. If I catch any of them knocking on my door, I'll make an example of them so the whole city will know to leave me alone. This man, whoever he was, happened somehow to get away. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Hades, he abused you? Maybe you asked like a shit eater. Some people don't know the subtle art of flattery. I have found a method for that. For I serve countless people in the city. I know their neighbours and take utensils from all of them. It's a <laughs> necessary evil if one wishes to be a flatterer. When an old man has answered the door, I immediately call him father. An old woman, mother. By a middle-aged woman, I call her priestess. The younger slave, my good man. But you get us are only good to be hanged, the idiocy. Boy, slave! Nonsense. I will show you how it's done. <laughs> Come here, father, I want you. <laughs> are you back again? Yes, father, if I may have but a moment of It is time. as if you provoke me on purpose. Did I not tell you not to approach? Old woman, give me the whip. Oh, please don't be so hasty. Let me go. Oh, let you. Yes, good man, by the gods. And let you come back again to pester me. Oh, do you babble still? I have come in order to ask you for a stew pot. I do not have 
neither a stew pot, nor an axe, nor salt, nor vinegar, nor anything else. I have told everyone in the area to absolutely not approach me. You have not told me. I am telling you. <laughs> now! Yes, very much so. Uh, but, would you not show me where, if obviously not here, one could get one? Have I not told you enough? Must you still babble? Of course, many goodbyes. I do not want to be goodbyed by any of you. Uh, not goodbye indeed, then. <laughs> oh, these are wickedly incurable injuries. He has ploughed me beautifully. <laughs> ah, what a thing it is to us cleverly by Zeus. Should I go to the other door? If they fight readily in this place, perhaps I shouldn't. Should I instead roast all the meat? Yes, I have a tray. I say goodbye to Phile. I will use what I have. If anyone is lacking problems, go to Phile to find them. Three times unlucky, my back, my neck, and my whole body ache. For I immediately threw myself into it too much. I lifted the mattock up enthusiastically as a laborer does. I was striking deeply, I pressed on industriously. Then I was turning, I was turning, watching for when the old man would arrive, leading the girl with him. And then by Zeus, I began to notice my sides, imperceptibly at first. But as time went on, gradually I began to be bent backwards and with this becoming stiff like wood. But still no one came. The sun was burning me. Gorgias was watching and seeing me just like a swing beam with difficulty lifting up and going back down with my whole body. And he said, it does not seem that this man will come, lad. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do now? I said immediately. Leave this for tomorrow and Dallas had arrived to take over the digging and now I don't know how I've ended up here. Seems that this business has dragged me against my will as if I were its puppet. What is this shit? Do you think that I have 60 hands, man? I take, I carry, I wash, and I cut up the innards. At the same time, I knead the bread, I carry around the jars, and I have become blind because of the smoke. Yet they think of me as nothing more than a donkey at the feast. Get us, boy. Who calls me? I do. Who are you? Do you not see? Oh, I see! It is the master! <laughs> what are you doing here, tell me? What am I doing here? We just sacrificed and we prepare your lunch. Is my mother here? For a long time now. And my father? We're waiting for him, but you go in. I will, after doing a small thing. This sacrifice has not been badly timed, in a way. I will invite that young man Gorgias and his slave, too. For if they have a share in the sacrifices, they will be more useful allies for the marriage in the future. <laughs> what are you saying? You're about to invite more people to lunch. <laughs> Go ahead and invite everyone. Invite 3,000. I have known for a long time now that I would not get a share of anything, for how could I? Gather everyone together, for you have sacrificed a beautiful sheep entirely worthy to see. But will these women give me a share of something? No! By Demeter? Not even a little bit of salt. Today will be fine, Gitas. I predict this myself. Oh, Pan, I always pray to you when I can, and I will be generous. Oh, oh unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Oh, hell, the old woman that belongs to that crazy old man has come out. What will become of me? For I wanted to lift the pot out of the well without the master noticing that it had fallen. I tied the mattock to a weak, Rotten rope, and it immediately broke on me. Oh, rightly so. And now the magic is in the well with the jar. Still, there is something remaining for you to do, for you to throw yourself in. And by my rotten luck, the master was intending to shift some dung lying by the house. He's been running around searching for this pot for a long time. Shouted, run, you swine! He will kill you, old woman. Too late. Defend yourself. Where is the thief? I threw it in, Master, accidentally. <laughs> Go inside. Tell me. What do you intend to do? <laughs> I. 
I will tie you up <laughs> and lower you down the well. No, I'm misery. <laughs> the same rope as this by the gods. Best of luck, it is entirely rotten. I will call Dows from next door. You, you will call Dows? I will call Dows. Heathen! <laughs> Do you ruin me? Did I not tell you? Go inside, quickly. For well, now I am miserable. <laughs> miserable in solid... <laughs> solitude. Miserable as no man is, I will go down the well myself. But what else can I do? Uh, we can give you a hook in the road. May all the gods destroy you with the worst evil if you speak to me. <laughs> He's going inside again. Thank the gods. This man is three times unlucky. What a life he lives. He is a pure attic farmer, fighting rocks for nothing but time and sage, reaping pain, taking nothing good. But look, my master approaches, leading with him those he called to help. They're workmen from the area. How strange. How has he become friends with them? Why has he left them here? I would not allow you to do otherwise. We do, completely. Heracles, what man would deny this? To come to lunch when a friend is sacrificed. For I have been your friend for a long time before I saw you. Take these tools, Dallas. Bring them in, and then you come yourself. Oh, no way, Dallas. You will not leave Mother at home unattended. Take care of whatever it is she needs, and I'll return quickly. Help me, oh, I'm screwed! Help me! Oh, my Lord, Gary Clayton, let us finish our libations by the gods. You're rude. You go around hitting us, just fuck off! Is the man, is the master in the well? How? You don't mean that, that madly difficult old man? Him. Yes! <laughs> oh, by Oranos, he's finally done something good. Dearest old woman, now is your time for action. What? Uh, grab a, a mortar or a rock or something and throw it down on him. Dearest, <laughs> go down and help! Oh, Poseidon, to suffer like in the story is finding a dog in the well. No way. Oh, Gorgias, where on earth are you? Where on earth am I? <laughs> what is it, Simitrix? Oh, say it again, it's the master, he's in the well. Sistratus, come on out. Yes, quick, you go first. They really are gods by Dionysus. Not giving a little pot to people sacrificing you, heretic. Plunge right in, gulp down the whole well, lest you have any one left over to share with anyone. Oh, now the nymphs are onto him. They've delivered righteous vengeance on my behalf. No one fucks with a cloak and escapes intact. Yeah! I mean, our skills are simply sacred. Table sitters, though, do whatever you want to them. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Wait. What is he dead? Someone's wailing, calling to Papa. I'll just think how he'll be by the gods. Dumped, shivering. I so wish I could see that. Yes, by Apollo. And you, worshippers, pour libations for this. Pray that the old man be saved. Catastrophically with labor injuries and broken legs. That way you'll be a harmless neighbor to the god here and to the people sacrificing. It matters to me as well. What if I get hired to cook? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, well, people, by Demeter, by Asclepios, by the gods, never have I ever in my life seen someone not quite drown with better timing. <laughs> it's delightful! See, Gorgias and me, we came as quick as we could. He jumped right into the well. The girl and I did nothing. <laughs> I mean, what were we going to do? Except that she was shrieking, pulling at her hair, violently hitting her chest. And I, golden, stood there. Yes, by the gods, like a nurse, I beseeched her not to do these things. I begged, looking upon glory, not the kind you see every day. The stricken fellow down below mattered to me less than anything, but that eternal pulling pained me. I very nearly, Zeus, I nearly killed him. See, while I was staring at the girl, I let the rope slip like three times. <laughs> but God, yes! He wasn't your everyday Atlas. He held out and eventually, with great difficulty, dragged it out the well! Uh. And after they got out here, I just couldn't contain myself. I nearly ran up and, and kissed the girl. That's, that's how passionate.
passionately in love I am. Oh, Zeus, say it. <coughs> Do you want anything, Naemon? Let me know. What can I say? I feel like crap. <laughs> uh, cheer up. Oh, oh, I'm cheered up. No longer will Nimon be such a pain for you all as long as he lives. See, this exactly is the problem with isolation. Just now, you were all but destroyed. At this age, you'd be better off living out the rest of your life with someone keeping an eye on you. I know that I'm in a bit of a rut. But, go get. Call over your mother. Oh, get right to it. Seems only in person to really set us up to learn. Temmie, please help me up. What a lucky man. What are you standing around for? You morally bankrupt! I'm sorry. I have lived in a well-worn rut my whole life. I was burying myself in problems. Apollo has saved me from a life I do not want. Death is sweet to he who cannot live as he wants. I wanted to be left in peace. Marine and Gorgias, I do not mean what I said about you. I preferred being alone and in control. I have seen the error of my ways. However, I still prefer solitude. None of you can persuade me otherwise. None of you. You'll just have to deal with it. Maybe I made one mistake. I thought that out of everyone, I was the one that could run his own life and not need anybody else. I've seen now that the end of life is swift and indiscriminate. I found I didn't understand this properly before. One always needs a willing helper close to hand. But, but by Hephaestus, I totally lost my wits. <laughs> Seeing every lifestyle and scheme and the way they each seek profit. I thought no one could be good to another. This was my impediment. But someone has given me pause for thought. Gorgias, by doing a good man's deed, the man who never helped him one bit with anything, the man who never spoke to him or said anything nice, this is who he saved? In spite of it all, another man would have rightly said, you forbade me to visit. I'm not coming. You were no help to me, now I'm not to you. Hmm? But what is it, young man? Whether I die, I think I might, I feel awful. <laughs> or whether I survive, I recognize you as my son. Everything I own, think of it as yours. And I'm giving you her to take care of. Find Artemisia a man, because even if I were healthy, I wouldn't manage to find one, since I'd never be happy with anyone. But let me live how I like, assuming I live. And you can deal with the rest. You have a brain. Thank the gods, and you're well set to protect your sister. Measure out uh, half the estate, use that as a dowry, and with the other half take care of me and your mother. But lay me down, daughter. I don't think it's good for a man to say more than is necessary. <laughs> Oh, go back down the well! <laughs> I'd like to explain a little bit about who I am. If everyone were like me, we wouldn't need courts. They wouldn't send people to prison. 
and war wouldn't exist. <laughs> Everyone would just have their share and be happy with it. But maybe you all prefer the way things are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you all can keep going then. This poor, grumpy old man won't trip you up. Okay, I understand. But if you're willing, we need to find out Miss Year husband. Boy, I've told you what I want. By the gods, leave me alone. <laughs> There's someone who wants to see you. By the gods, no! He's asking about the girl. I still want nothing to do with it. He helped save you. Who? This guy. <laughs> you, come over here. Come on. <sighs> right. you will. <laughs> you can be the one to give her away. Now help me inside. Perius, take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> All that remains now is for you to betroth me to your sister. Shouldn't you ask your father first? He won't have a problem with it. Okay then. I betroth her to you, Sistratus, in the presence of the gods, as is right. You've been clear in your intentions and haven't pretended to be someone you're not in your dealings with. <laughs> and you were willing to do whatever it took for this marriage. You were raised delicate, but you've grabbed a digging pool and were willing to toil. You've given a suitable demonstration of your character. May you continue to be such a man. The best is yet to come! Well, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. <laughs> oh, perfect! I see my father just got here. Calipides is your father? He sure is. Susie. I think so. He's the best farmer there is. Oh, I've missed it, haven't I? They've gobbled up the sheep and gone back to town. Besides, so he's really starving. Are we going to tell him right away? Let's let him eat first, then he'll be in a better mood. What's this, Sistratus? All finished eating? Yes, but there's some left for you. Go ahead. That I will. You're not letting this play out how I'd wanted, or how I'd expected. What, we've agreed, haven't we? Your mother and I want you to marry this peasant girl that you love. We demand it. I don't think you do. No, oh, no, I mean it, by the gods. I know that for a young man, a steady marriage at least begins with love. <laughs> So I can marry Gorgias's sister and think of him as part of the family. So how can you then say that he can't marry my sister? Sistratus, you've got it wrong. I don't want to take two beggars into the house. Just one is more than enough. You speak of money, not a steady matter. If you know what's going to hang around for all time, then by all means, guard it, never share even a bit. But when you have it all at fortune's pleasure, why hold it back from another man? Fortune is fickle. She'll take it from you and pass it back to someone less deserving. So what I'm saying is, as long as it answers to you, you need to be noble in how you use your wealth. Use it to help everyone and get them what they need as much as you yourself are able. You make a good point. I can see that. But what if I were to fall into ruin? Fortune is fickle, as you say. 
not just me, but, but you. And your mother, who should fall with me if our fortunes were to change. This is immoral. Even if you were by chance to fall, those you aided would pay you back in kind. A solid friend is better by far than secret money you've gone and buried. You see things as they are, Sistratus. If I were to take my immense wealth with me to the grave, how could I call myself charitable? It's yours. You've made the case for your friend and want to secure the marriage. Do it. I wish you the best of luck. Why should I judge? Provide, give, share. I'm persuaded of everything. You mean it? I mean it absolutely. Don't worry about it then. Well, in that case, I will call Gorgias. Oh, happy day. I overheard you from by the door when I came out. Everything you said from the start. And so, Sestratus, even though I think of you as a good friend, I just don't want something more than is right for you. And Zeus, I couldn't handle it, even if I wanted to try. I don't understand what you're saying. Well, you can marry my sister, but as for marrying yours, for me, it's just... It's just what? I can't enjoy luxury from other people's hard work. I'm only happy with my own earnings. <laughs> Rubbish, Gorgias. Don't you judge yourself worthy of this marriage? Worthy of your sister? Yes. Worthy of taking a lot when I have a little, not so much. <sighs> Gorgias. You are too noble for your own good. How, how so? Well, you're trying to play by rich people's rules when you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you've seen me give way, and you should too. For the greatest among us deserve wealth, and you are surely among them. But what of the farm? Surely a woman raised in the city wouldn't want to spend her time in Philae of all places? Please. My sister is like the grouch over there. She despises the crowds and takes every opportunity to get out of the city. Well, that may be so, but there's a lot of work to be done on the farm today. Though my farm's small, it takes a long time to plough it. It's no time for a wedding. Dearest nurse, you're a difficult man. Are you not planning on attending your own sister's wedding today? Well, yes. Well, but... then there is time for yours as well. Come now, stop being so noble for once in your life and allow yourself a day of enjoyment. I suppose you're right. I missed the mark. No one shows any hope of having a stable life if they're poor and paralyzed. Good, good. good. But now we just need to formalize the agreement. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, young man, I give my daughter to you for the planting of legitimate children. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, also, uh, oh yeah, three talents for the dowry. And I have a talent as Artemisia's dowry. You do? Hmm. Don't give more than you're able. I, I have it, though. I keep the whole farm in your possession, Gorgias. Now, why don't you go and get your mother and your sister and uh, introduce them to the women of our family? Run along. <laughs> Very well. You should stay for the night celebrations and then we can all do the weddings. Or oh, and, uh, Gorgias, bring over the old man. He'll probably be better taken care of with us. He won't want to, Sistratus. Convince him. And we'll see. Father. We should get started drinking the good wine now, and the women can revel all night long. The opposite, I think. The women will be drinking, but we'll be the ones having quite the revelry. I'll go and get some of the wine now. Do it! The wise should never totally give up hope on anything. Every obstacle is vulnerable to due care and hard work. I'm living proof of it. In a single day, my efforts have brought about a marriage which not one person would have ever imagined. Yes. Quick! Oh, Mother, you can take them from here. Nemon's not here yet? He was begging me to bring Simike as well, so he could finally be alone by himself. Wow, he's stubborn. <sighs> that he is. Uh, oh, just leave it. Let's get going. Sustratus, I'm trying for a woman. <laughs> Nonsense, Gorgias. You need to think of them all as family now. Going, I'm going by Artemis. I am. You can lie down alone there. It's a shame. 
but that's you. They wanted to take you to the shrine and you refused. There's big trouble in store for you now, yes, by both Demeter and Persephone. Good luck. I can go over and see if I can find him. What the hell are you waving at me for, you useless wannabe? I'm still working. I have to go find the poor bastard, so hold off on the pipes. Good. Someone else can go and sit by his bed. My child Artemis is leaving, and there are a few things I want to tell her before saying goodbye. Yes, you go and I'll take care of it. Cook, Cyclone, get over here. Oh, Poseidon, this is going to be fun. I did want to get revenge for your just suffering. You think it was justified? Oh, shut up with your own Oh, the old blighter is asleep and alone. How's he doing? I mean, he's not dead. So he couldn't jump out and hit us? I don't think he could even get up by himself. I like what you're saying. I will go in and ask for something. Yeah, he'll be out of his mind. No, but, what if? I've got it. First, we go around the back, then we drag him out here, drop him here, bang on his door, rile him up, ask for stuff. It'll be amazing, I'm telling you. I'm afraid of Gorgias, though. What if he finds out and chews us out? It's allowed to all hell in there. They're getting wasted, no one will notice. The main thing is that the man must be tamed. He's a part of our family now, and if he goes on like this, he'll be our problem to deal with. Exactly. Just think ahead and be stealthy when you bring him out into the open. You go first. Wait, please don't leave me alone in there. Don't make a sound by the god. I'm not by Gaia. I'll lead it. You, match the beat. Boy, pretty boys, oh little boy, boy, boy. <coughs> yes! Oh, I'm dead. Obviously. What do you want? I want some cooking pots and a few large bowls. Who can get me on my feet again? You have them, you really do. Also, seven tripods and twelve tables. Boy, take the order to whoever's inside. I'm in a hurry. I don't have anything. Don't? Didn't you hear the first thousand times? I'll be leaving then. Oh, misfortune mine. How did I get dragged out here? Who's dumped me out front? You go then, my turn. Um. Boy, little boy, and women, and boy, sir, you're mad. Sir, 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 you're mad. You're breaking the door down, please. Nine rugs, please. Where from? Also, give us an exotic woman cut a hundred feet long. Oh, if only I had my, my, my woman. Old woman? Where is that? Woman. Should I go knock on another door? Why don't you just bloody leave? Hmm? May all the gods destroy you, you... What do you want? I want a giant bronze wine bowl. <laughs> Who can get me on my feet again? Oh, you have it. You really have the cancer. By the gods, no. Not the wine bowl. Oh, I'm going to murder Simi K. I'll sit you and shush. You, you flee the crowd, you hate women, oh. you don't allow anyone to take you to the party, you suffer through all this. No one's around oh. to help you. Yeah, go on, gnash your teeth. Just listen to all those women. Their conduct isn't distasteful. Oh. Just in there, I was setting up a party for those men. Hey, are you listening? Don't fall asleep. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, what, don't you want to go? Keep paying attention. Oh. It was very busy. I was laying out straw beds on the ground and setting up tables since that was my job. I am a cook after all, you'll remember. You're getting to him. Why don't we just bring the party out here? Yeah! No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.